corn kid, let's go. Let's go. You ready to go? What's going on, grasshopper? Welcome back to the house that never sleeps. Today we're going to uh, take the pick guard off of this guitar. So if you've never done that or you want to see how to do it or, or how I do it, come closer. Good to see you guys and gals back again. Uh, you can see some of that funkiness going on we talked about in the last video. Weirdness. Uh, I loosen the strings up because I'm going to... I use, uh, I guess these are called a painter's knife. This is a number five. Now this is the way I do it. Like I say, there's many ways to do this. I, I use a uh, hair dryer. And uh, I'm just gonna start heating her up. Soften that glue up on the bottom, underneath. I'm gonna do this same method when we, when we fix this binding, too. Same thing. I'll get this off and see if I have the right material to cut a new cut a new uh, kick guard out for it. Take your time with this. Don't get in a hurry. Man, that glue's coming up pretty nicely. We don't want to pull any wood loose. Just a pick guard. So it's important to go slow. And uh Heat that some more. That one little corner on the back. <clears throat> yeah, let me heat it some more. a million ways to do this. This is just the way I do it. You may have a completely different approach and that's okay. You almost have to wonder how some of these pick guards can come loose as tightly as they have them on there. 
Now from here on all I got to do is just keep pressure up, pull and keep the heat down here where it's stuck. It's just a waiting game now, a matter of time. I can see it letting go very slowly. Now, there's the pick guard off. A lot of times if you catch it just right, yeah, you can peel most of this glue will just almost fall off in your hands. If you do it while it's still warm, you can roll it like this. See, it just rolls up into a ball. I may have to heat it again to get all the glue off of it, but this is the best way I've found getting it off. Like I say, do it while the glue is still still warm. Usually get a lot better results. You can see it rolling up into a ball when I do that. It rolls off. It's beginning to cool down now again. And I don't want take off any wood so get this worse off here and then I'll heat it some more heat it again in fact we'll do it right now of grizzly where'd it go Lily where's it at where's that birdie at find it man least these bottom two to use my normal method of installing a new pick guard and getting it exactly where I want it to, to go. And I'm probably going to take some nap to, to the rest of that. Nap that won't harm the finish. Lacquer and nap that get along quite well in fact. It evaporates quickly. I mentioned it or not, but I loosened the strings. So, uh, you know, putting that much heat on the guitar, you don't want to be pulling. 
pulling a lot of stress on it with the string tension. Looks like it was painted on there with a brush. Anyways, I'll take some naphtha and go over that and loosen right up. But uh, there you go, folks. That's the way. Boy, all the glue, there's no glue stuck to this. It all stuck to the, very little stuck to this anyway. Anyways, I'll use some naphtha on that. And I'm uh, probably going to try naphtha down here where they have glue all over the top too. And, uh, Clean the rest of that off, cut a new one out, and I'll bring you back for another video and we'll put a new pick guard on it. Looks much better, yes? Pretty strange how Martin did. I could have swore that pick guard was black. It's not black, it's red. And the guy wants a brighter red one than that, but didn't it look black before? Every bit of the glue came off, and I, wa I was curious if this was one had finished under the uh, pick guard or just bare wood and it looks to me like what they did it does look like it has had finish under the pick guard but uh, I think I'm sure they sprayed clear over the pick guard okay so they stuck this on to finish and then sprayed a clear coat over the whole entire thing pick guard and all uh, many cases on a lot of the older ones they they didn't uh, do that. They stuck the pick guard right to bare wood and then finished over the entire thing. This is the first one I've seen that they actually had finish under the pick guard and over it, both. And you can clearly see another layer of clear above this. Pretty interesting. So I may cut that new pick guard a little bit bigger than this just to assure we cover all that up. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was black, baby. And you can see it's not black. It's a very dark red. He wants a reddish one, so I'll have to see if I have the right material or not. But uh, I used uh, naphtha on that. That's why it's so clean and shiny. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. I hope uh, maybe this will help you if you ever want to remove your pick guard. Hopefully, hopefully it will be of some help. To someone, anyways. Cheers. Ready to go? Hear him? Let's go get some birdies.